Are you going to get Mr. Siva King? Publisher Manuel Herda has brought out a book by writer and filmmaker David Ziva King, which records his mother's struggle with Alzheimer's. I'm David. You're the mother? No, I'm the son. Sorry? I'm the son. Now I can't follow this at all. Ziva King's film, Forget Me Not, is based on the book. Hauda has sold 25,000 copies so far. The book is already being reprinted. We say our themes are faith, values and education. And the question of how we deal with sick people, old sick people, is important when it comes to values. To that extent, yes, it's a topic that concerns us. Hauda Publishing House is based in the southern German city of Freiburg. It's a Catholic publishing house with a long tradition. It brings out almost 500 books a year, and almost half of them are about faith and religion. But the publishing business is becoming increasingly difficult. People are turning to the Internet for information, and there are less visitors to bookshops. Nowadays, when I recommend a book, people take out their smartphones and order it over the Internet, and it arrives the next day. They never see the other books that they would have if they were browsing. That has a definite impact. And the publishing house might be able to lose one of its best-selling authors, the former Pope Benedict XVI. His editor is currently working on a photo book. He's worried that Josef Ratzinger will not write any more books. A loss in his opinion. Weil He's an author who writes well. He writes very clearly. He's smart and he has something to say. It was also interesting for me to get involved with these things. He was always very straightforward to deal with. And he had a readership. Many people waited for his books to come out. You can't ask for more as an editor. They sold religious books from the outset, biblical stories for On the Road in 45 different languages. In the 19th century, Hanna supplied books to Christian missionaries, the company's librarian tells us. They took them in large quantities to our colonies at the time or regions where they had influence, to the Pacific Islands or India or Southeast Asia, to Japan and China. Hada was founded in 1801. The family-owned company has been passed down through six generations in more than two centuries. There was always demand for books about religion and related subjects. Every generation tries to find its own path. My father was very interested in expanding the scope of what we offer. In principle, I'm continuing that. The publisher's list doesn't just include Catholic, Muslim and Buddhist books these days, but also politics and economy. And they also publish e-books. The company's turnover amounts to 40 million euros. Hada is convinced that the business will survive the crisis in the publishing trade. He visits the graveyard near the company headquarters when he needs peace and quiet. The publisher says his ancestors all encountered difficult times. But he says their books will never go out of fashion. Where do I come from? Where am I going? Is there something beyond the visible? These topics have occupied people for generations, and they'll continue to do so for generations to come. And the publisher has faith that the company will continue to carve out its niche in this market segment in the future.